Polycystic ovary syndrome is a very common reproductive disorder of women ranging from about 6 to 10 percent of all young women and is characterized by uh, elevations of male hormone testosterone in particular in association with menstrual irregularity due to uh, abnormal ovulation and many of these women also have polycystic ovaries which refers to the accumulation of small follicles in the ovary that accumulate when a woman doesn't ovulate. There's a spectrum of polycystic ovary syndrome that ranges from very severe where these women have metabolic problems in, associate, in association with reproductive ones like uh, increased incidence of type 2 diabetes and glucose intolerance. Some of those women are, are at risk for miscarriage due to abnormal egg development. And on the other hand, there is a very mild phenotype where those women do relatively well, particularly if they just have to ovulate, and that's fairly easy to accomplish. So clinically, it's important to know where a woman is on this, on this spectrum because it has a direct bearing on how you're going to evaluate that woman prior to any attempt to conceive so you can optimize your chance of not only having a singleton live birth, but also lower the chance of miscarriage. And that's really important to know ahead of time. It's a manageable syndrome as long as you have a strong relationship with your physician who understands the transition of care as the needs of the patient change over time.